Hi, I'm Tyson Huggins, Social Media Manager at TechWise Internet Marketing, and welcome to the Wise in Five. Today I thought I'd share with you a recent case study done by Search Engine Journal, and Leo Weidrich in particular. The case study took a look at 120 billion Facebook impressions. And they were all particularly done from uh, the angle of brands on Facebook. Now, you can imagine with 120 uh, billion impressions that they found some interesting statistics. I figured I'd share with you my favorite six. So without any delay, let's jump right into them. Number one said that Facebook posts that were the longest tended to perform the poorest, whereas Facebook posts that were shorter and a shorter brand message tended to perform much better and have a lot more engagement. Now, a lot of people ask, where is that sweet spot? Well, we know it's probably somewhere in between uh, 130 to 100, 140 characters. So what this means for your business is don't share a novel on your Facebook post. It can just become too overwhelming and, and can come off as being spammy to uh, your average Facebook user. Number two stated that almost 50% of online customers expect brands to provide uh, customer service on Facebook, when in reality, only 20% of brands do. What does this mean for your business? Obviously, you're missing out on some great opportunities to talk to people, get some feedback, and provide that, that ultimate, that quality customer service that you should be doing. So you have to get on Facebook and you, you have to realize that people, even if you have a Facebook page, people are, are sending requests and maybe some feedback and some contentions to your page. Are you monitoring it? Number three stated that 70% of consumers trust online brand recommendations from their friends. Now this isn't really a, a new kind of idea. We all know that social media has become that word of mouth referral that you know you miss with the old days back in the barber shop or just you know talking around with your friends you trust people tr people that you trust you trust their recommendations for brands and and ultimately that can lead you into the buying cycle so is your online presence on on social media and facebook in particular uh positive are people talking about you is your name being spread word of mouth of social that's something to think about number four was that social networks account for 20% of your average user's browser time. That means that your average br uh, browser is spending 20% of their time just going through Facebook, whether, or, sorry, social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Um, that's, that's, that's an immense amount that you, your brand needs to capitalize on. Number five was an interesting statistic. It said that the shelf life of your average social media post was no longer than three hours. Now this is obviously different. This is just for pure organic distribution and doesn't take into account uh, maybe a promoted post or a promoted tweet. So all of the advertising aspects of social media. But your average organic post is, only, is really dead, out, out of the, uh, dead in the water after three hours. So that's something to think about if your brand, when are you posting? Are you posting at the times where you think your fans will be most engaged on Facebook and other social media? It's really something to think about. Number six is that women spend 30% more time on social networks than men do. Now this may be important for your business. Maybe your demographic target is uh, highly influenced by women. Maybe your product is targeted at women. Uh, you may want to get on social media if you're not already, and, and this is definitely important and to get your content shared and to get those people talking to each other. So I hope you enjoyed these uh, six quick statistics about social media. Um, we invite you to watch more Whys and Fives. My name is Tyson Huggins. I'm the Social Media Manager at TechWise Internet Marketing. If you want to find me on Twitter, you can find me at Tyson Huggins. And we'll see you next time on the Wise and Five.